Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James, aka JP, back again with another Toy Room Review. Today we're taking a look at the Star Wars prequel trilogy, uh, limited edition steel books. Uh, these were just released about a week or so ago, so we'll go ahead and take a look at each of these individually. Let's get started uh, with episode one and work our way down. Alright, so here's episode one of Phantom Menace. You get a very nice image of Darth Maul up here. You got the Phantom Menace there, Star Wars Phantom Menace. And again, in case you didn't know, it was the Phantom Menace. Uh, back here, you get some nice images from the movie, and as well as a read-up. So if you want to read that, go ahead and pause it now. And then you just get the credits. And you know, the special features and everything. Alright, let's go ahead and get this out of the packaging, and then we'll take a closer look at it. Alright, so here is the Phantom Menace uh, Steelbook Blu-ray out of the packaging. You can really see the shininess on these guys. I really like that. Now this back piece here that I showed you before is just a slip cover. Then back here, you get that infamous uh, shot of the movie poster from episode 1. Then upon opening it up, you get um, that inf infamous scene where he's in front of the Jedi Council. And then you get that continued on over here. And then that's pretty much all you get. No booklets or pamphlets and no extra stuff. Uh, whoops. No extra stuff like that. So that's pretty much it for this. And then we'll go ahead and move on to episode 2. So here's episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Get a nice image of Yoda. I don't like that they put Yoda on this for the particular fact that all the other steelbooks are all images of villains or bad guys. So I'm not sure why they went with Yoda. You got Attack of the Clones up here as well as up here. And then on the side, same thing. On the back, again, more images from the movie. And then a read-up. So you guys want to read that, go ahead and pause it now. And then you just get the specs from the movie uh, back here. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get this guy out of the packaging and take a closer look at him. Here he is out of the packaging, same as before, this back piece is just a slipcover, and then you get the, uh, you know, movie poster, movie art over here. This one's okay, not a huge fan of it, but you know, it's still pretty nice. Then upon opening it up, you get the, uh, all the clone troopers, you know, in the factory being made, same thing over here, and then there's your just, your standard disc. So that is, you know, pretty much, I wish there was more to this, but that's all there is for this one. So let's go ahead and get... Episode 3 out of the packaging, and then we'll take a closer look at that. Alright, so here is uh, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, nice image of General Grievous. I really like this image here. It's pretty cool. So up here you got Limited Edition Steelbook, Revenge of the Sith. Down here you got the same thing, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. On the side, same thing as well. Then back here, you get some more images from the movie, as well as Darth Vader, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, all the images from the movie. And then a read-up, so if you guys want to read that, go ahead and pause it now. And then you get some specs down here as well, and then that's it. So let's go ahead and get him unwrapped and out of the packaging, and then we'll take a closer look at it. Alright, so here is the Blu-ray out of the packaging, and really, really, really like this image of Grievous right here. It looks very nice, especially with the light hitting it. Uh, but same deal as all the other ones, the back piece is a slipcover. And then back here you get more artwork uh, from the movie posters. So you got, the, you know, the Jedi's clashing, Darth Vader in the background, everything like that. So that's really nice. Uh, really, really nice artwork. I, I want all these pictures to save as screensavers, so I'm probably going to have to Google them. But anyways, uh, opening it up, what do we have here? We have the battle on, I believe it was Genosis. I'm probably wrong, but the lava planet where they were uh, fighting Anakin and Obi-Wan over here. And then you got uh, just more lava in the background and uh, the disc. So that is all there is to this. So that's pretty much it you guys, really not much about these steelbooks. Alright you guys, so there's my review on the Star Wars Original Prequel Trilogy a Limited Edition Steelbook Blu-ray Sets. Wow, that was a mouthful. But anyways, um, so yeah, I really like these Blu-ray uh, packaging, you know, the steelbooks, the artwork on them is really nice. But uh, it just sucks that there's nothing, you know, that comes with them, no, you know, extra paperwork, flyers, anything. It's just the steelbook and the disc, and that's all you get. Um, do I recommend these? Only if you don't have the, um, the Blu-rays in, in any other form. If you have the Blu-rays already, there's no other need to get them unless you're a collector and you want the really nice artwork. 
um, like I did, so I went ahead and got them. But other than that, you really don't need them if you have Blu-rays already. I'd probably recommend the, um, the set that comes with all six Blu-rays. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to that. I feel like that's definitely a lot better. You get a lot of artwork and behind-the-scenes stuff, so that's pretty cool. And it's pretty much the same price, if not cheaper, than all of these. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, guys, I'll see you next time.